What if you could take a 215 inch screen in your pocket everywhere you go? Well, today Rokid, the sponsor of this video, has provided me with the tech to do exactly that. First, we've got these Rokid Max AR glasses that display a huge 215 inch screen that looks like it's floating out in front of your face. And second, we've got their new Rokid Station media streaming device, which is the world's first Google certified portable Android TV OS experience. So now you can bring your big screen entertainment with you everywhere you go at a fraction of the cost of the normal 98 inch TVs that I have in the house. The Rokid Max glasses are the second pair of AR glasses that Rokid has released to the consumer world. The first were the Rokid Air that had two 60 hertz screens providing up to 120 inch screen size and a 43 degree field of view. And while those were already a solid option, these new Rokid Max glasses have definitely stepped up the specs. The Rokid Max have two 120 hertz 1080p micro OLED screens with the 50 degree field of view that really helps the display feel more immersive. The screens can reach up to 600 nits of perceived brightness, which is more than enough to use in a bright room and makes movies look bright and beautiful on that 215 inch screen. There's also built in speakers under the arms of the glasses, which provide a great listening experience for any type of content. And since the glasses weigh in at only 75 grams, they're very comfortable for long watch times or gaming sessions. The Rokid Max also have built in myopia correction, so you can use them without any additional correctional lenses if you're nearsighted. And of course, the image is reflected off of the transparent lenses into your eyes. So as long as you don't have on that added light shield, it allows you to be aware of your surroundings when looking through the glasses. Whereas with Apple's upcoming Vision Pro headset, you'll be getting the camera's virtual reproduction of your surroundings, which can be more uncomfortable for people that are sensitive to motion sickness while using AR headsets. Not to mention those are gonna be 10X the price of these. The glasses alone can connect directly to a supported Android device. And with their Rokid AR app, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do. It's got a full web browser where you can check out some of the very entertaining content on YouTube, or you can download and play some AR games, or just browse through your pictures and videos on a massive floating display. Or if you're a Mac user, the glasses can be plugged directly into a Mac and give you an awesome secondary display that provides a huge monitor for getting stuff done. And with an HDMI to USB-C cable, you can connect the glasses to anything with an HDMI output. So I hooked up the glasses to a Nintendo Switch and a PS5 for some gaming on a 215 inch screen, and it's pretty cool. I really love playing bright and colorful games on the Nintendo Switch with the screen so much bigger than you get with the game system itself. And swinging around the city playing Miles Morales on the PS5 at 120 hertz with that crisp, bright display with sound from the built-in speakers, the games seem really immersive and fun with these Rokid Max glasses. You can also stream games directly to the headset through supported apps, making gaming on the go even easier. Rokid provides everything you need in the box. The glasses come with a nice zippered carrying case, which is great for traveling. And as you can see, they've got a USB-C port on the end for connecting your preferred device. It also comes with that included light shield attachment, which comes in handy when you wanna watch content in a bright room. There's also an included USB-C cable and an extra nose piece, along with some instructions to make sure you get it all set up correctly. Then we have the Rokid Station, which is what offers that Android TV experience. The Rokid Station does include an Android TV remote, so you have the option of using that to control the station if you want, or you can just use the controls on the device itself. It's also got the volume rocker and power buttons on the side, in addition to USB-C and micro HDMI connection on the bottom. There's also an included micro HDMI to USB-C cable for connecting the station to the glasses, a USB-C charging cable, and a user manual. So with everything laid out here on the table, it's time to see what these can do together. So the first thing I had to do is actually disconnect the USB-C to my phone so that I could connect this mini HDMI that goes to the glasses when using the Rokid station. And then the other thing is, do I want to use the mask or not? I mean, we have a bunch of bright lights on in here, so I think I should probably put these on, which means now I can't see you guys any longer. I feel like they look a little bit more like sunglasses here, but you know, obviously I can't walk around the room now with these on. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely where it's at. Uh, the Google operating system, obviously we have this on a lot of different TVs, so I'm very familiar with it. And just having that sense of security that I know where things are and I know what you can do is a big game changer all kinds of apps you can run through. I mean, of course, we go to YouTube because we all watch YouTube and it has your feed. I mean, I'm logged in under my own account, so I got all kinds of videos that I'm ready to watch. And again, this is anywhere that you have access to internet, so pretty wild and pretty fun to use. And of course, it's got other apps. One of the ones that we love is Disney Plus. 
Normally we watch a lot of different content from Disney Plus in order to see how good specific TVs are. And no exception here, watching something like Avatar Way of Water looks fantastic on this size screen. And it's really bright. I mean, this is better than most TVs that I review, to be honest. I mean, it's up to 600 nits, so that's brighter than a lot of TVs. And to be honest, this makes me feel like I'm back in the theater watching this movie. And when you exit back to the home screen, you can slide over to where the apps are, see all the ones you've downloaded, go to the Google Play Store if you need more. We also have the Google Play Games, where you can download various games Obviously, there's tons of those as well. I popped into this one called Bomb Squad where, you know, you're just having a little bit of fun here. It's actually even easier if you pair your PS5 controller or any gaming console controller so you can get a little bit more fun gaming experience. And because these lightweight AR glasses don't have their own battery, the station actually comes with a 5,000 milliamp battery that can last up to five hours. And you can also plug it in to get more charge time too. So you have a ton of options with regards to the portability and the ease of use. And I actually took this to our fantasy football draft and it, everyone was using it the entire time and the battery you know, didn't die. I also brought it on a plane ride and it lasted the entire plane ride back. I wish I had gotten some footage of that, but realistically this thing can last forever if you keep charging it. And it's a little bit more convenient than always connecting your phone to the glasses where you're definitely gonna drain your phone or if you wanna be multitasking, you know. So really a lot of options when you pair the Roku Max with the Roku Station. And I almost forgot to mention that these glasses are capable of displaying 3D content. And it looks pretty impressive, to be honest. You can easily find 3D videos on YouTube or other services and then play them back by holding the 3D button, which is the brightness toggle button on the glasses, and it transports you into the 3D world, which is really fun to experience. And even 2D content has a 3D feel when you're using these glasses. So overall, I'm a big fan of the Roku Max glasses. It's a lot of fun to mess around with the AR, and it's a cool, immersive experience. But when you add something like the Roku Station to it, so much more fun. Now you have a Google operating system that I'm used to and a lot of different TVs, and it just feels like home. So great combination, really immersive screen, long battery life. You can even plug it in and just keep it going for hours and hours. So tons of fun with the Roku Max and the Roku Station. And just so you know, Roku just announced the new Max Pro and the Station Pro. These are AR options that will compete directly with Apple's upcoming Vision Pro with advanced tracking technology like simultaneous localization and mapping or SLAM and six degrees of freedom motion tracking. The new Pro line from Roku looks like it'll be a solid option for a lot of people looking to boost their AR experience. So if you're interested in getting a pair of these for yourself, Roku sells the Max glasses on their own or in a bundle deal with the station included. So you can follow the links in the description below for more details and to get a pair for yourself. I want to thank Rokid for sending these over to check out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.